Hello, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna to show you the uh, setup of my traveler's uh, notebook, which I use as a wallet. This is a passport size in the blue color that they had last year that was available. And I'm super glad that I got it and stuff is already falling out, but I uh, love this. I've used it as a wallet since I got it. I got it for Christmas and um, it's, one of my favorite Christmas gifts, I use it every day. I'm just gonna show you the general way that I set this up and how I use it and kind of explain my way through it. I can't say I really understand the uh, obsession with traveler's notebooks. I don't really know how notebooks get to be like a stationary trend. All I know is that I bought into it and am actively riding the Midori bandwagon. Um, although, I mean, I only, the only Midori, Midori product I actually own is the notebook itself. I don't know why it just is better than the fake ones. It just is. It also smells like mint gum because I have gum in my bag, but yeah, it's just so pretty. I just, it, it's so just nice. I'm not being very good with description, but I, I love it a lot. So um, we're going to start. I got this uh, wallet insert from Amazon. So it's the wallet. It has this little pocket and then it comes around and it's got the zipper pocket on the back. And it was like, five dollars which is so hilarious for like the notebooks that go for like way too much money um although you know in japan they're actually not that expensive i think part of what you're paying for is the import rate but i don't actually know so i have that on the outside and uh in here i just keep all my cards and stuff and um that's all i have in there and in the back i've got a little barrette and like two dollars so I have that, and then I have this little insert book that came with the notebook. Now I use this, I don't use a journal in here. I tried to keep a journal in my traveler's notebook for forever, and then I I just never, I didn't like how small it was. I didn't like how it made me feel like I'd written more than I had, and I filled, I would fill up one journal in like two weeks, and it was just like, I'm gonna end up with 50 of these at the end of the year. So um, I decided to just use it as a planner and for me planners are not like I don't I don't keep like an hourly thing I don't even keep like really much of a uh, uh, like a normal planner how most people like plan out their schedule stuff I keep checklists um, any plans that I have that are time like if I'm going out to a concert if I'm going to hang out with friends or traveling somewhere on a certain day I'll put that in my phone calendar and then these are just checklists of things that I have to get done um, before the day's end. So I'll just check in here and that's basically, I, I have some shopping lists in here too, makeshift gratitude list just all of a sudden. And then I've got a couple of blank pages in the back. When this one's done, I do have some that I handmade. I might make a video about how I make my little insert books because I think it's really fun and it's so easy. And they're, I mean, to order these and get them imported is so much more expensive than it needs to be. Again, I think you're just paying for getting it to wherever you live. As, as an American, of course, I assume everyone's also American, apparently. Um, but if you're getting them imported, they I think they run like $7, which is not like that much money. But I mean, for what you're getting, it seems like too much. So I just, this one came free with the notebook. After this, I'll just be making my own. And then I have the pocket full of crap. So I have $10. And then a bunch of change and another barrette for when my hair is longer than it is now and I need to do that. Yeah, that's all I keep in there. That's just where my cash goes. Although I don't, I haven't used cash in so long. There's a coin shortage apparently happening in the US right now. I should take that change to the bank so that they can use the coins for people who need the coins. I don't need the coins, I have a card, so I don't know. Um, then in the very back, okay, I've had this in here for forever. This is a little tiny book that I made and it's, I've got it attached with the little like string in here. So everything in here is connected with an elastic band, except there's this like rogue string in here that I don't really know if it's just in case you have something thicker that you want to stick in there, but I just stick this in there because it goes in the back. Um, I made this out of, oh, you know what? This was actually the tag that came with this very sweater from Cezanne. It's my one of my favorite freaking sweaters. It's so cute. Um, and then I made it out of the Cezanne tag and a Trader Joe's chocolate box. <laughs> and just folded it. I was gonna just use it as my go-to like to-do list thing, which it looks like I um, made a shopping list one time and then proceeded to never make any more shopping lists. This is just in the back. Um, I keep 
thinking I'm going to use it for something because I'm like, oh, I don't want to take that out. I'll use that for all my lists. But I think it's because I keep it in the back. It just gets forgotten. But it's cute. And I'm like proud that I made it out of a tag. So I'll probably end up using it maybe after I finish with this little list planner thing. But also, I mean, this just gives me, as you can see, like I have a ton of space to write anything that I need to do. I don't know. Maybe this will be my shopping list book. Uh, all I know is that it really hasn't gotten much use, but I felt worth mentioning because it hasn't ridden around in there since December when I got this notebook. So that is my whole wallet and I'm still obsessed with it. Uh, the only thing is, is that in the winter I have this wallet, which I'll probably end up featuring in a video in a couple weeks that fits directly into my coat pocket and into the pocket of this really cool new green jacket that I altered as a men's jacket and I altered it to fit me. By altered, I mean I took out the shoulder pads, but I'm gonna make a video about that next week. Uh, but anyway, the wallet fits directly into the pocket and it looks so cool. So I actually might be retiring this notebook for the season because I do love using my brown wallet in the winter. But um, if I do that, I, it won't be retired for long. It'll come back once coat season's over. But um, yes, that's all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.